guys, we're going to do a quick little video on sketch relations. Um, I'm not going to go into how to use them. That's more of a beginner's task. What we're going to do is we're going to go into what happens sometimes when you remodel or change a part. So um, good practice in a part is to have, in my opinion, a master sketch. It kind of uh, encompasses all the design elements in your part. In this case, this is our master sketch. And we'll actually go into that sketch first and have a look at it. Um, so this sketch just gives me all of my dimensions for this particular part. This is kind of my working envelope. I also generally would have a another working sketch that gives me depth. Um, sometimes you even need a third sketch to give you your heights and stuff. So anything that you need up front to kind of define the envelope of the project I think those are handy even if you add them later but so in this particular case uh, we're just gonna make a sheet metal component out of all of this material and what we've done is we've actually pushed I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here um, we've pushed that information into this second sketch here and so I'll turn this sketch on so you can see it for a second so one sketch is in a different plane than the other. Um, in this particular case, the designer was using it to, to define depth. Um, but what we've done is we've converted in entities. So we've pushed some of the entities out of one sketch into the new one by using the convert entities command. And that's, that's common practice um, with the flow of work that I'm used to. So we'll go ahead and turn that one back off. And so you can see in the sketch, they're just converted from the master sketch. Um, not a huge deal. So what can happen, we'll exit out of here, and we're not going to save our changes. So we've got a piece of sheet metal here, right? And uh, somebody comes in the office, and, and we have an engineering meeting, and we decide that we want to make a fairly significant change to this part. So we go back into the master sketch and we decide that we don't want these purple lines here. Now I've changed the color of these so you guys could see them easily. So we go in here and, and one of the engineers deletes these four lines out. Right? We delete them. And it gives me a um, warning that these are connected to something else in the model. You know, I don't care. I'm trying to work here. So uh, yes to all. Get, them, get rid of them and get out of the sketch. Now our base flange is going to turn yellow. It's, there's a warning here. And so we're going to go into that sketch and we're going to see that we've now got dangling dimension. Or, um, um, and so sometimes you end up with sketches with a lot of these. They're all over the place or there's lines close together. It's hard to, maybe it's hard to see exactly what lines have gone bad. And so one of the tools I typically use there's two ways to get to it. You can either get to it right here, which is display delete relations. It's with the little I in your relations symbol. Or under tools, um, relations, it'll show up here. Now, in my particular installation of SolidWorks, this was turned off for some reason. So if you only have add and quick snaps, you'll go customize menu and this box will be unchecked. You'll want to turn that on and then it'll actually be there. So back to relations, display delete. Now it shows me everything. It shows me all my problems all at once. Well I really just want to get rid of the ones that are dangling. So um, I just want to get rid of those, those um, relations. So I'm going to delete those um, it actually will allow me also to replace them. Um, but first I'm going to show you guys the delete command. So we'll delete all and it'll delete just those. Now you have the option to show your sketch and decide what you want to do with those, how you're going to deal with them. Do you want to push new data into the, into the uh, sketch? So are we going to take this line here and convert that? And maybe we'll do this line and we'll convert that. And then we're going to hide this and we're going to get rid of our, maybe we don't want that sketch information at all, so we're going to get rid of it. 
we're going to hold down the shift key and trim that out and then we're done and we've got our oh, why are we not rebuilding here oh I see it missed that guy right there so now we have our new sheet metal shape the other option I believe is that we'll back up here so let me undo The other option, I believe, is that you can replace these dangling uh, relations, and so we'll take a look at that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and replace these instead of deleting them. So we'll go to Tools, Relations, Display, Delete. We're going to pick on the line that we have a problem with, and so what we want to do here is we want to make this line now match up with this, with this line over here. So we're going to go down here to replace and we're going to pick this line and hit replace and you'll see that it moves it over there. So there's one that we've done. Then we're going to clear that out. Clear selections. We're going to now pick this one and we're going to replace that with this line. And we're going to hit replace and that's made this go bad because we've got a corner here. So uh, let's see, is there a way to fix that? I should be able to pull on it. Alright, so there are times you can um, reuse these components and they'll move for you. So in this case, this one's dangling. Um, I'm going to go up here to Sketch Relations. I can either delete it or I can try to replace it. So I'm going to see if it'll replace. I'm going to try to move it over here and you can see it caused some other problems so sometimes this works good and sometimes it doesn't so let me see if I can work my way out of this um, let's see we want this one to go down to here yeah this one's not gonna clean up so what we're gonna do in this case we're gonna um, go to dangling and we're gonna delete oops we want all of them so let's see a dangling all right so in this case what we're gonna do we're gonna go back and we're gonna put a we're gonna put the relations we want in here um, we'll go ahead and make this one collinear I'm going to check and see why that's not happy. I just need to move it. We're going to make this collinear. And we're going to make this collinear. Now the reason that we're trying to reuse data is if I was to delete these lines and instead of recreating them, um, I actually just decided not to use them you will like if I delete this one and something was attached to this edge once upon a time you'll lose that data uh, let me see if I can assign this one yeah it didn't like that so let me delete that one And we're going to assign this to collinear. And you guys are probably familiar with just assigning new workflows. It didn't like that because the edge. So anytime you've converted an entity, it's looking at the length as well. Generally, if you pull on the endpoint, it becomes the endpoint becomes freed up. Excuse me, freed up. So we've got well, a couple options here. We may be able to um, we may be able to make these collinear and then remove that point. And you just hit delete and it removes the point now the caveat there is I don't know what surface ID it kept did it keep the longer one or the shorter one um, and if you like I said if you had a, a fillet um, that was on an edge that or something else that was tied to that line let's say you had um, you were dimensioning off of this particular I'm gonna turn the other sketch off you were dimensioning off of this line and you just lost your line ID um, and these are all internal things line IDs face IDs but if that number has been lost anything that's tied to that line will now go dangling 
So uh, this would be a quick way though to rearrange this part and not have a big loss as far as time. You still got your ed most of your edges back. Uh, you kept them. So anything that's attached to those will move around and, and stay with them. And I would even say that your um, your dimensions and your drawing should stick with them as well. So that's working with um, dangling dimensions. Now let's say that um, let's go back in here and we're going to delete all relations so we're gonna make this thing blue all right now that we've pulled the relations off this sketch what we're gonna do is we're gonna fully define it automatically there's two places uh, one would be under this relations toolbar and it's down here fully defined sketch you're gonna get this window over here the other location is under tools dimensions fully defined sketch same setup we're gonna check it to automatically add relations and dimensions we're gonna ask it to calculate all entities and it's it's got it's went ahead and added as much as it could we're gonna undo that we're gonna just do relations in this case and we're gonna calculate um, it says fully defined sketch is complete but the sketch still is under defined so what we're going to do is we're going to look at what we've got so far. Do we like everything, um, what it's done? Let's see, we've got that, we've got this. So this one is not needed. Oh, we're going to get out of here. Um, there's a couple of these that are repeats here. Let's see, we don't need this one. We don't need that one that one so we've got some obviously it wasn't able to define some of these so we're gonna uh, we're gonna show our first sketch again we're gonna get some of these cleaned up this one uh, obviously was originally tied to the origin so we could do that but we really want to tie this back to the first sketch master sketch so we're gonna do that same thing here we're gonna just do a bunch of collinears Collinear, collinear, take that collinear, which is going to tie the other side. And all we're trying to do is stick this thing back to the original geometry so we have some degree of control. So, um, a lot of, you know, there's it does take some time to do some of this crap, unfortunately. Did I do collinear? I think I picked that one up. I think we got one last one to do. Collinear. And we're done. So we're tied back together. So um, sometimes the automatic sketching works great, if especially if you've brought in a um, step or an IGIS and you just need to get some dimensions and some relations on there to, to nail it down so that you don't lose your shape. And you certainly wouldn't want to use um, your just an anchor point. You know, you don't want to anchor everything down. So, um, uh, let's see, I'm trying to give anything else. Uh, and you certainly wouldn't want to use fix in place. That's not uh, something that you would use in a production environment. So I hope this helps somebody and I will talk to you guys later.